Graphing a compound inequality on the number line. Graph the compound inequality on the number line. Well, my number line didn't print, so I'm just going to draw myself a number line in here. Okay. Uh, in Alex, you should have a number line there already for you. I will put, since, since both of my kind of critical numbers here that I'm worried about are positive, I'm just going to put my zero a little off to the off center. Um, so if we did one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, right? One, two, three, four would be here, five, six, seven, eight would be here. Okay? Um, so this compound inequality is an and inequality, okay? Which means that my graph is going to deal like with the numbers in between 4 and 8. If it said or, then my graph would be right dealing with numbers right below and above my two critical points here. This one or would look something like that. Okay? And though I know I'm in between these cuz I want the numbers or x values that are greater than 4 or bigger than 4, but at the same time, they have to be less than 8, okay? So at 4, since I have greater than or equal to here, um, I'm going to have a closed circle right there. Or, uh, a filled in circle. So at 4, I'm going to put a circle and I'm going to fill it in because of the equal to right there, okay? Since the 8 does not have an equal to, it's strictly less than, at the 8, I'm going to put an open circle, okay? And then I want the numbers that are greater than 4, or to this side of 4, and at the same time, less than 8, or to this side of 8. So I'm going to join these two circles with a line like that, and that's my graph.